Good morning to you. I'm Jennifer Bayless. Today I'm joined by Kelly Hutchinson and Major <laughs> Mark Hunter with the Salvation Army. They're here to talk about the Red Kettle Campaign. It seems a little early, but it's <laughs> never too early to get folks signed up to be bell ringers, the most important job of the whole season. Why are we doing this so early today, this year? What we've seen at the Salvation Army is really that the needs have increased in the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the Red Kettle campaign and Christmas fundraising is really a huge time of year for the Salvation Army. The funds that we raise not only help us give a great holiday to yeah. area families, but it also directly impacts how many people we can help in the new year. So we wanted to get started a little bit early. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving falls late. Yes. So our partner at Kroger said, you can go ahead and start the bell ringing November 11th. Wow, so. that's great. Well, how many bell ringers do we need this season? We need a lot of bell ringers. Okay. Volunteers are very important to our success. Uh -huh. And we have about 56 locations throughout the Louisville and surrounding areas. So that adds up to thousands of hours of volunteering mm -hmm. in front of Walmarts and Kroger's and Hobby Lobbies and Cabela's. So we just need folks that uh, have some time on their hands to mm -hmm. sign up by going to registertoring.com, mm -hmm. signing up for maybe a couple hours or maybe even a whole day, or possibly maybe getting the whole family involved yeah. or maybe a church group or maybe their civic club, we have plenty of opportunity for folks to come and help us and to know that they're going to help families who are in need because the need is great this year. As you can imagine, with the economy the way it is, we have tons of people coming to us looking for assistance, and we want to make sure that we're able to help those folks that need it. And we're talking about need. Where exactly does this money go? When, when you drop your money into the red kettle, where does that money go? Well, that money stays right here in the Louisville area, first okay. of all. And it helps people with maybe a rental assistance or maybe their utilities. The cold months are the yeah. hardest for families. Yeah. You know, with those increasing heat bills and oil bills, they really need help sometimes. And so that helps them. Uh, it helps operate our facilities down on Brook Street, which help the unhoused mm -hmm. population. So we're able to shelter over 200 folks that, that are not housed. And so it brings warmth. White flag shelter is also mm -hmm. one of those things that when the temperature gets so cold or it's raining or sleeting, we open up to an additional 40 folks to be able to come in out of the weather and find shelter. Warm meals, and maybe even this clothing or shower or those kind of things. There's a lot of things that that money helps. And so we're very thankful for volunteers and yeah. also for those who make a donation to our iconic Red Kettle. Yeah, okay. uh, again, if somebody, maybe their family, I know families uh, tend to do this for the holidays. They'll go mm -hmm. ring the bell, uh, maybe the week of Thanksgiving or a couple weeks before Christmas. Again, how can we sign up to be a bell ringer? Well, I'll tell you, Jennifer, you can go to registertorank.com. And I also want to encourage viewers, if you work for a company that allows volunteerism mm -hmm. and you can bell ring during the week, we really need volunteers during the week. You said, how many volunteers do you need? Yeah. Our goal is to have a thousand volunteer bell ringers this Christmas season. Well, I know we can do it. The greater Louisville area is such an amazing uh, group of folks that always a huge heart. So here's the information for you uh, if you would like to volunteer and we hope that you do uh, and you don't have to volunteer all day two hours. maybe just give two hours of your time there's holidays between now and then you can maybe spend a little bit of your holiday if you are interested in learning more about this event be sure to check out wlky.com later this afternoon we'll have an article right there with all the information that you need to know i hope in a few weeks we're hearing that you have over a thousand volunteers so Absolutely. best of luck that would be the greatest yes thank you Jennifer, and thank you to WLKY for partnering with us on Absolutely. Kettles. Absolutely. Absolutely.